Hello traders I've just taken a short trade of what we call a t19 the reason I've taken this trade is notice down here we're well overbought with our long-term stochastic our short term has come up and rolled over I'm also my stop is also let me just adjust that two ticks above the high of the day and you can see here that our long-term stochastic is rolling over so I'm just going here for 11 ticks for this little short here so I'll just put the recording on hold so we've had a really interesting uh, I've just started live trading I've been doing some coaching so I'm just putting some live trades on with a client here and uh, we'll just let this follow through and I'll put this back on once we have some more action so as we can see here we're bouncing around a little bit we're uh, being down for oh, what's that six to eight ticks at this stage there is a pivot you can see the pivot here so we may bounce off that pivot but my target is around that pivot so we should be right there now remember newer traders I don't want you taking these counter trend trades these are a good solid trading opportunity but not as reliable as trading with the trend So we're just bouncing around a little at the moment we've hit plus eight ticks so 10 ticks on this sorry 11 ticks on this is 550 less brokerage so that's around the 500 net mark order fill there we go so we're filled there that was 11 ticks and uh, we'll see what happens from here so just put this on hold and uh, just go back to my coaching client will discuss this and I'll discuss more on this video as we go a couple of other things we we're just discussing traders is looking at our platinum just here which I use for mainly our divergence and directional trades we can see here that we had some divergence here here and here where I've marked it up with a black line in the direction of the trend so you can see here you had a slightly lower low on your price just there and same here you had a lower low and a higher high so we had some classic divergence with the trend they're generally a really good trade to take when you've got divergence in the direction of the trend and we can see here our 89 and our 200 are giving us a very very strong uptrend now we've had some fairly thin volume in the market today we have on Thursday uh, US time we've got some uh, major uh, uh, red flag announcements so we may find that the market may be quiet the next couple of days in comparison with volume and so what's one of the first things I do when I uh, turn the computer on check out the volume if I leave the office for a few hours come back go and check the volume just see what sort of volume we've had going through so if we look down here also notice our long-term stochastic is falling so you so for our counter trend traders you could have taken a t10 just there you had another t10 that would have failed just here you had a t10 just here that was a winner and of course you've got what appears to be a t2 now the t2 is of course when your long-term stochastic is oversold or overbought and that the short term flicks right up and acts like a slingshot back down so effectively a t2 is a slingshot except we're going against the trend so that's why you wouldn't take that remember the t2s you want to take uh, with the trend so technically speaking you had one right down here but it failed and let me just scroll back and show you why we'd already had uh, okay the reason it failed is look at the time it was before the main market opened to begin with when you don't really trade at all I don't recommend normally that you start trading until the market's been open a good 15 20 minutes 30 minutes why there's too much action normally but it's been a very very slow day we've seen a sl steady increase in price here all day today um, so there hasn't been a lot of action 
so this is basically uh, where are we from here to here for whole day's action so we can see very very low volume day low volume days also mean in my opinion trade with a trend and be very very cautious save your powder for another day so uh, so far today if you were trading you would have had uh, this one here now this is a t1 with the trend so let's just check for low of that uh, low of 48.25 so here notice that the zero lag uh, still is cyan so it hasn't rolled over and turned um, uh, sorry it's magenta we waiting for it to turn cyan so we've got a very slow market now here if you had have entered in on this candle you would have been stopped here because I recommend that your stop goes two ticks below your swing low which was there if you had have taken that trade here entered in on this strategy candle, alert you would have been stopped on this one because this ticked down three ticks below but you would have re-entered on this candle right here okay so you can see here there's a number of reasons why you would have entered you had a t19 okay and it's back in the direction of the trend so if you had have entered that one and entered on this candle you would have been stopped if you had a three tick stop now the other thing that would have kept you in however is like with me I keep a fixed stop of 11 11 to 13 ticks is my fixed stop so my fixed stop would have actually kept me in that particular trade so if you had have kept the tightness stop right up so you're only two ticks below you would have been stopped if you had have used your standard 11 tick stop and reason I have a standard 11 tick is I leave the room, some some uh, room in the market to breathe so I would have been still in that trade here we had a t10 a t10 you may remember you got a rise in stochastic a pullback and away we go that delivered only 10 ticks so from there to there that was 10 ticks now when you have 10 ticks as soon as I hit 9 or 10 ticks depends on market conditions I'll go to break even plus one so this particular trade you would have only been up one tick if your target was 11 if it might have been 10 but I recommend a minimum of 11 ticks and seeing the market so slow I may as well just quickly tell you why um, generally because most of my stops are 11 ticks I want a minimum of one to one however in this particular case I would have been at a break even here's another tough one but there's some signals here look at this we've got a big drop off here we're below zero uh, our platinum is telling us to be very very cautious here why look at this we've crossed the zero line back here when you're below the zero line unless you're trading with the trend okay traders um, okay you've had a, unless you've had a, I should say a big pullback you want to be very very careful I would classify that as a stop out because I knew some of our traders took this and they were stopped so we had a winner break even a loss a winner and another winner now here with both of these we classify these as t89s these are 89 EMA bounces see here we get our cyan line coming up we've bounced off that so they're our classic t89s now over here we had a t19 now a t19 is where my platinum is falling dramatically and down here where my short-term stochastic has come up and it hasn't cut through my long term and rolled over that's what gave me extra confidence in this trade okay and by the way over here we had a t10 in coaching these are some of the key setups there are 12 key setups that I teach you 12 primary setups remember though you want to own you want to master one of these trades at a time before you move on to another unfortunately what most traders do they want to claim or they want to learn all the trades and uh, they have them what they call uh, Robin Sharma talks about this extensively he calls it ego 
depletion see the mind can only process so much information you want to become a sniper if you're a sniper you are focused on one or two objects or targets at a time by with myself personally by reclassifying myself and reframing my life as a trader as a sniper it is totally turned my trading round. I'm now a lot more focused and disciplined I'm not looking for dozens of different setups and strategies on the one chart and that's the other thing I focus on maximum of two charts for an example here in front of me at the moment I've got the Nasdaq 133 tick which is what we're trading and I have on my left I've got the Nasdaq 350 share bar because I like that for for trading bounces and things uh, so I'm only glancing at two but, but my primary chart is the 133 now I've got all the information I need on that chart I've got the 200 uh, so I've got the 200 there now that's uh, equivalent of having uh, of course uh, an MA or a time frame from a much higher time front my 89 time frame from the chart I should say excuse me so I've got all the information I personally need before me right here now now let's just go back to what we just had here this is one of the things where you've got to be focused when you're trading we just had here a set up a T a T1 it's also a T2 now let me just see if I can make this look a bit better for you okay so we can see here we stopped out uh, for a profit 10 contracts on my short the T19 so you can see here once again my platinum was falling my short term was rolled over I took the short and that was good for 11 ticks while I've been talking we've just had a signal for a T1 and a T2 see my paint bars these give me trades in the direction of the trend so we had a winning trade there here and another one here and we had one just there now this one this was a little t2 this one would have hovered around but we've well, got to be very careful with these is notice the long-term platinum was falling so let's have a look how we would have gone with this trade for a t2 closed 66 by 66 okay uh, let me just confirm that closed 66 okay yep so you would have um, uh, had your 11 ticks on that t2 now there are two ways of trading at t2 so once again you can see that the long-term stochastic is overbought we've come down to form the slingshot and let me just pull this in so it's a little better now visually so we've come down we're oversold pulled right back we've crossed you've entered and that was good for how many did I say <laughs> but closed 66 up to five um, 70 66 that was 16 ticks uh, sorry just um, uh, getting all sorts of messages sent here so it's 16 ticks from there to there in that trade uh, now if you had waited for your zero lag to turn cyan that happened on that candle so you wouldn't have been in until this candle so you would have only just got 11 ticks out of this trade okay so I hope that makes sense t2 it's come right down flick back up so I took that one if I wasn't talking and I've got to go back to my student that's waiting for me online and uh, there it is there so I've got, got to go back I'll come back and do some more recording shortly traders I just want to point out a little uh, double top we've had form here so let me just show you this uh, you can see here the trade that I took earlier and I apologize the screen is um, uh, rather small here let me just uh, bring this out a little bit so you can see that little short I took here uh, to the short side and we've had the same formation a lovely little double top form just here we can see that our, our um, platinum is down below zero <clears throat> so we've got a very tempting little double top but 99 well it's not 99 but a good 90% of my trading now probably 95% is trading with the trend anything 
can happen here we're getting towards the, um, the magic hour uh, of anything can happen in the the market so you can run anyway very very strongly particularly 6 a.m. my time so it's getting towards uh, an hour and a half before the market closes or so and anything can happen so you've got to be very very careful we've seen most of it a a strong uptrend and so it really breeds um, uh, it's a time to be very very cautious so that is why I'm not taking this little double top to the short side now it may deliver but as Jesse Livermore said in his great book sometimes the best thing you can do when trading is to do nothing is to sit back there's always another trade around the corner so one of the most critical things in trading we can do or most important thing sometimes is to sit back and as you gain more and more confidence in your setups you know that there's just another trade around the corner now that little trade I just took over there by being 11 ticks after brokerage that's 10 ticks net, net which is $50 per contract so that's $500 net two of those only two of those a day and you become very wealthy over time uh, for those of you who watched my European trading last night you saw me fire off I think I had two two winning trades in another two later on the, in the night I've done the recording on those and posted up a few of those trades were live as I just did this one here so really become a sniper now if you would have taken this trade to the short side this little double top as many traders have well, you'd be starting to really sweat right now because look what's happening it's trading against you right now an actual fact it's turned into what we call a t25 now t25 is where you have uh, two to five candles a pullback and then trend continuation now this may just hover because of the time of day and that is the other thing remember uh, you want to get to know the personality of the market you were trading every market behaves differently <coughs> excuse me I'm just looking at one of my upper screens I'm looking at the e minis the ES the ES has been in an uptrend all day it's hitting, hitting a pivot right now and it's just hovering around the pivot uh, it may break through it may fall down as this people towards the end of the trading day close out their long positions who knows the market is always right and one of the key things you've got to really learn to do is to trade what you see don't trade what you think let me say that again you trade what you see you don't trade what you think our opinion means nothing when it comes to trading so this particular trade it's gone up it's tested that little high and who knows what it may do it may come back down and we can see here see what see the stochastic here how now this one is another negative sign for me over here the stochastic rolled over before the long term here it went up and touched it went through that was sort of a negative for me now it may very well roll over and come down to the short side it's been it's just above the pivot but what you can't see is up on the ES the ES market we're hitting the pivot so we've got really strong resistance and we have for the last uh, good hour and a half actually on the ES on the R1 we've had really strong resistance now remember pivots act as magnets see this down here we've got a pivot we've come down almost touched it bounce it and it bounced up but bounced off the 89 now here not Strategy only is it bounced alert. off the 89 but we can see here it's bounced off the pivot as well and your next logical target is when that happens is your next pivot which is what it's done and a lot of traders that I train actually aim and will take and have a trailing stop from one pivot to another so I hope this little bit of commentary was um, was beneficial I'll just put this on hold and I'll get back to you uh, and with a little more of a wrap up after I finish my coaching session thank you so traders let me just give you a final recap of the market for the morning for the afternoon your time we can see here that uh, as I mentioned we were just bouncing around 
on this pivot for quite some time so from 5:30 through to uh, 6 15 the last 45 minutes we can see here we've been basically sideways uh, you could have scalped some points trading with the trend you can see here we had our paint bar for our t1 here and here that was only good for 11 ticks exactly from there to there uh, you may not have been filled on the 11 but one of the techniques that you actually uh, do or run is when you have a narrow market lower your profit target so where you see you're in a very narrow trading range if you choose to trade uh, make sure you're scalping and have a smaller target the other thing here is as I mentioned I wasn't prepared to trade anymore we've got the FOMC announcements in a few days time and you tend to find that three or four days beforehand the markets are very very quiet very quiet now finally we saw a breakdown but if you had have taken this short here you would have been stopped here uh, or at least over here so remember counter trend trading you want to be very very sure and remember counter trend trading uh, you've got to be consistent you've got to know your setups another sign of a sideways market by the way is look at this long in the lower window the long-term stochastic notice how it's swimming around in the middle of a window here uh, and we can see here that with our platinum we're below the zero line but basically uh, horizontal when you see that and your zero lag sideways be very very cautious so how can we recognize a potential breakout in the market a breakdown let me quickly before I sign off on this video give you a little technique that will give you a signal that perhaps the market is turning and it may be suitable for trading notice our black channel here and let me just try to make this a little bigger for you so we can see our black lines that's our EMA channel notice how the zero lag has crossed through on our trigger line the blue line is our trigger line see the trigger line has been caught in the channel our zero line has crossed through and the candle has closed below the channel that is what we call the t69 setup the t69 is a standalone trading strategy for kicks but day in day out now I have to say though in choppy conditions it's very hard to make money in any market however it is a great uh, signal if you look down here right uh, if you look at this let's just go back to uh, 4 a.m. there were all channel breakouts to the upside there was there were none to the downside yes we come down and touched and closed here but we haven't had a clear cross through of our trigger line so see here where we've got we're basically sideways notice how this candle is closed on the channel my zero leg is still above the trigger line I want to see a cross now what we've got here is right there and this is a great indicator here so see where my zero leg has crossed through the trigger line we've clearly closed below the channel that is a short signal if you were choosing to trade short that's a perfect signal there so traders hopefully uh, you've picked up a few ideas and concepts in today's session I'll just close this back up that would have been a very nice little trade but you can see by trying to pick the tops you would have been stopped out a number of times here once again the trend is your friend until it ends and the t69 is a really good indicator of when the trend may be ending until next time uh, good trading